Yo, what is good, YouTube? I'm coming at y'all with another fire video. And in this video, you guys have been asking me so much on my TikTok comments and my YouTube. What are the best badges to shoot? What are the best badges to dribble? And just overall, what are your badges? I'm going to be giving you guys the best badges to do everything in this game for every build. I got my 6-1 build, my 6-8, and my 6-11. So don't worry. I'm going to help all of you guys out. And I'm gonna give you guys some tips on how to shoot better, dribble, all that. I got y'all in this video. It's the hookup. I got y'all. Now, for this video, I don't need to show a lot of gameplay because you guys already know how I play and you guys have already seen my gameplay through my TikToks and my streams. So I'm not gonna show too much because I do not wanna bore you guys. I just kinda wanna get straight into the point. So everybody keeps asking me how do I dribble so fast on this build and how do I momentum spam? You guys always ask me just how do you dribble faster and you know be a faster player on 2k23 so i'm going to show you guys why and explain to you guys how to do it so the first thing if you guys don't know i'm pretty sure there's common knowledge already we're already in like the like ninth month in the game acceleration matters more than speed acceleration is what makes you dribble faster overall it's what makes you you know just be able to handle the ball way better for example if you have an, a 70 acceleration on a 6-1 build you're not going to be as fast as my 6-1 build because i have a 96. as you guys can see i dribble so fast with a 75 speed speed does not matter you can literally have a 20 speed as long as the acceleration is at 96 you're fast i'm telling you guys and this is for a 6-1 build this is for a small guard so that's what i'm explaining right now for a small guard another thing let me show you guys my playmaking badges because you guys always ask me about it to dribble faster you guys need gold hyperdrive this is literally the only badge you guys need and it's proven by 2k labs that if you guys have hyperdrive you're able to dribble faster with the ball so i have it on gold because i cannot get a hall of fame because i don't have 32 playmaking badges i only have 30 so i'm limited on what i can put it on but these are my playmaking badges that i'm going to explain real quick killer combos i used to use it on gold but i changed killer combos for hyperdrive and i honestly see a way better result by having hyperdrive on gold Handles for days is on silver. I really don't even use handles for days on my other builds, but I have extra badges to throw it on, so I just put it on silver. I have ankle breaker on Hall of Fame. You guys can't see that. Let me move real quick. Ankle breaker is on Hall of Fame. Why is it on Hall of Fame? Because I like getting clips and I like breaking people's ankles. But in all, all reality, you guys don't need a Hall of Fame. Quick first step is Hall of Fame. Everybody knows that this is the most important badge to speed boost. If you guys do not know this, you guys have been living under a rock. For real, for real. Vice Grip is on silver and Unpluckables on gold. I still get ripped either way. At this point, I might as well take them off and put Hyperdrive on Hall of Fame because I get ripped with Vice Grip and Unpluckables. So, I mean, I really don't know what to do at this point. It's just a waste of badges. And Needle Thread is on silver. Now, when I go into Wreck, I just need to throw the ball better. So, I have that on silver. But that's literally all you guys need to do to dribble faster. And it goes the same for every build. So, look. Now, I'm on my 6-8 build. And as you guys can see, I can do the moment spam. And I'm fast as my 6-1 build. And it's literally for the same reasons. I'm going to explain to you guys why. So for all my 6 8 6 9 demigods, I'm going to help you guys out real quick because that's the majority of 2K23. That's all you guys do. This is my build. If you guys don't know, that's my build. You know, everybody knows my build at this point. But my playmaking badges <clears throat> are a little bit different. On this build, I did not use hyperdrive. And I just can't use it because I only have 18 playmaking badges. I, I literally cannot use it. <coughs> Bro, my throat. <coughs> ah, damn. Anyway. So my killer combos is on gold. And I'm not going to lie. I just kind of forgot to change my badges. But I honestly don't see a difference on the way I dribble. I haven't tried hyperdrive on this build. So I might try that out. But either way, I know hyperdrive does help you guys out a lot. So if you guys are 6 8 6 9 put hyperdrive on. I'm probably going to do that right now. Um, It's going to be the same badge as my 6-1. I, I don't even know why I use Unpluckable and Vice Grip, bro. I, it's just no point in using it. I can't get anything with it gonna get ripped either way and my and my acceleration for this build is not 96 as you guys can see though it is an 82 an 82 is just fine i am 6-8 so at the end of the day it's not like i'm gonna be as fast as a 6-1 guard but i mean an 82 is still an 82 and that's why i'm able to dribble so good and so fast if your guys acceleration is less than an 82 this year i'm sorry to tell you bro it's like really hard to dribble it's not hard to dribble because you guys can dribble but it's hard to speed boost now i'm on my 6 11 build to show you guys that i can still dribble on this build even though i'm this tall if you guys want to know how to make this build make sure you guys go over to my youtube channel um in my latest video i'm pretty sure i dropped this build so if you guys do want to go look at that video go ahead because this build is super nasty bro i'm not even dribbling good right now with it but bro it's disgusting 92 three-pointer and everything but yeah this build does not get high acceleration it only gets a 75 but that's the highest i'm gonna get on a seven foot build either way 
and I can dribble really good on this build, so it's like it's like a win-win. And I also get Hall of Fame Quick First Step. That's literally all I needed. Once I got that, I knew this build was gonna be amazing. So that's why I made it. But that's it for the dribbling portion of the video. There's nothing else I can really tell you guys on how to dribble better other than getting in court and actually playing the game. And another thing you guys need to do is put your pro stick orientation on absolute. The reason it needs to be on absolute is because the way you dribble on the top of the court is going to be the same way you dribble on the corners, if that makes any sense to you. If you guys put on camera relative on the corners, you guys have to dribble a lot different than on the top of the key. So make sure you guys have it on absolute. It just makes you dribble better. Trust me. Okay, so the next thing you guys always talk about is how to shoot better in 2K23. So I'm going to give you guys the tips that I know on how to make myself shoot better and you know just to help you guys out i'm going to show you guys so the first thing i'm going to show you guys is my badges for my 6-1 this for my 6-1 i'm going to show you guys my badges for my 6-8 as well so don't worry about that but for my 6-1 these are all my badges right here let me move my camera you guys hear my dog in the background that's crazy anyway agents through shut up anyway Agents 3 is on gold. The reason why this is on gold, everybody knows that's how you fade. And this is how you fade way better in 2K23. If you guys are uh, if you guys are a small guard, make sure you guys use Trey Young fade because that's the best fade in the game. Anyway, Green Machine is on silver. I just turned this down to silver. I used to have it on gold. A lot of people say they use it on gold in Hall of Fame. You guys could. I just rock it on silver and it still shoot amazing. Volume shooter is on gold because I'm a guard and I shoot like seven shots a game, so it makes sense for me to run it that high. Amp is on gold. Now, at this point, I might as well not even use this badge because my jump shot is still slow when I'm tired. So I really don't know if this badge works or not, bro. So if you guys want to put that badge on, go ahead. I'm not gonna change. Damn, my, my voice. I'm not gonna take it off, so I'm just gonna leave it there. Guard up is on silver. I dropped it from gold to silver so I can put um amp on gold because I want to see if it works. And at this point, I don't even know if it works or not. Blinders, I also took it down to bronze. I don't see a difference with it on and off at this point. So, I mean, it is what it is. Uh, Dead Eyes on gold and Limitless Range is on gold. As I was saying, the most important thing to shoot is Limitless Range. The badge can be on bronze, silver, or gold. It does not matter. As long as you guys have the badge on, you guys will shoot a lot better. Like, Limitless Range does not only mean you guys can pull from deep, it means you guys can pull a deep mini or just a regular standing shot 3. That's why that badge is the most important badge to me in my opinion. And that's why I rock it on every single build. And another thing you guys need to do to shoot better is take off your shot meter, bro. Everybody keeps saying, oh, shot meter doesn't matter if it's on or off. No, it matters, bro. You guys need it off. You guys literally get a boost. 2K Labs even said it, that you guys get a boost every single year if you guys don't have your jump shot meter off. I know you guys are not going to like it at first because I didn't either. But trust me, bro. Take it off. And the next thing is put on late shot release timing because you guys need to. Now, you guys don't need to, but in my opinion, you guys need to. Like, I cannot use early or very early. I don't know how people do it. Late is the most important, smoothest for my dog. Late is the most smoothest one to me, and that's what I use on every single build, even on my 6-1. It's very smooth. You guys won't miss with it. I promise. Bro, this whole time recording, I didn't even know my shirt was backwards, bro. Like, my... Bro, my shirt was inside out this whole damn time, and y'all didn't tell me? Bro, what's wrong with y'all, bro? How can y'all not tell me that? Bro, y'all fake, bro, I swear. Anyway, I'm still gonna help y'all out, even though y'all didn't tell me my shirt was back. Anyway, so for my 6-8, this is my 6-8 shooting badges right here. Volume shooter is on gold. Guard up is on gold. Green machine, silver. It's nothing really too different than my 6-1 build. The only difference is Dead Eye and Limitless Range are not on gold because I'm 6-8 and I don't have a 92 three-pointer. That's the only reason. But the biggest tip I can help you guys with shooting is not changing your jump shot i have had the same jump shot for months bro like i do not change my jump shot at all in 2k i probably change my jump shot three to four times a year every 2k i don't go past four bro i stick with one jump shot and i thug it out that's literally all i do i have to do that if i don't do that i'm not gonna become good everything with shooting is just knowing your jump shot timing and just playing the game and knowing your timing in general of every shot if you guys are not playing the game you guys will not be able to shoot good that's why I tell everybody, bro. You guys always ask, how to become better in 2K? How do I become good like you? Bro, I just play, I've been playing the game since I was like 12 years old consistently. That's the only reason I'm good at 2K, bro. It's like muscle memory. You guys have to play the game and actually, you know, go in court and take time out of your day to be good. That's the only thing I can really tell y'all. And don't change your jump shot. Now for finishing, this is for my 6A build still. For finishing, to get contact dunks because everybody knows I get crazy contact dunks and you guys can get crazy contact dunks too because this year dunk meter is OP. 
All you guys need, I promise you, is limitless takeoff on gold. You guys can have the silver, it'll work the same, but gold is the most overpowered badge in the game, bro. Limitless takeoff gold is OP. You guys need it. Once you get down gold, put posterizer, silver, or gold. This does not matter as much as limitless takeoff. This badge gives you contact dunks. I promise you guys, that badge gives you guys contact dunks. And another thing, you guys need to have the dunk meter on. If you guys don't know how to do that, go to right here on jump shot meter and choose any meter you guys like. I kind of like the arrow and the curved bar. Um, which, Whatever, it doesn't really matter to me. I'm just going to stick with the arrow for right now. But to do a contact dunk, all you guys need to do to use the meter is hold R2, flick the right joystick up, and then hold it down. That's literally the basic step of it. When you're running into the paint, flick this up and then hold it down. You guys will get the contact dunk meter every single time. And that's how you get overpowered dunks, bro. They're so overpowered and you guys need to do it. This works on every single build. And let me help you guys on how to play better defense. So these are all my defensive badges on my 6, 8. And to be honest with you guys, they're not the greatest defensive badges of all time. I mean, they're pretty basic for a 6, 8 build. I have anchor on silver because you guys know this gives you guys snatch blocks. And it helps you get chase down blocks and everything like that. Chase down artists is on gold. I like getting chase downs. I think chase downs is very important for a tall guard. So I use that on gold. Glove is on silver. Very overpowered. Especially with lock take. You guys can get glove on silver and be so good with that. Interceptor. Oh, I didn't even notice my badges were messed up. So as you guys can see, my post lockdown is on for some reason. And my workhorse is up. Interceptor is the most important badge, bro for defense i get so many steals you guys can see me get so many steals um really passing lanes getting crazy dunks and all that because the interceptor is on silver silver is all you guys needed you guys don't need to go to hall of fame if you guys could get it go to hall of fame do put it up but silver is just fine now clamps is on silver i will put it higher because it is an important badge but i just don't have the badge points for that same thing with challenger it's very important i just don't have the badge points to put that all up and i just have to stick on bronze those are my defensive badges and for tips on defense you guys literally cannot guard no 6-1 guard. It's hard to guard a 6-1 guard or a 6-9 in general. So if you guys can't play defense that good, don't even blame yourself because I get cooked too, bro. It's hard to guard people in this game. This game is overpowered. Like, look what he just did on that court. How can you guard that? If you guys are going against somebody that actually plays this game and knows what they're doing, it's very hard to stop them. So don't feel discouraged that you guys can't play defense. It's literally hard, bro. The only thing you guys need to do is just bump the guy, you know, run up to him and just bump him. That's all you guys can do. And I'm back on my 6-1 build to show you guys that my finishing badges are almost the same as my 6-8. And I get crazy contact dunks with this build. I have an 86 driving dunk to get limitless takeoff on gold. That's how bad I wanted it. I didn't want it on 84. I needed 86 for this badge on gold. Because I know how overpowered it is, bro. That badge is insane. Alright, that badge is insane. I'm going to show you guys my dribble moves and my uh, jump shot. I, actually, not my jump shot. I gave you guys my jump shot already. I'm going to show you guys my dribble moves for my 6-8 and my 6-1 since I didn't show it earlier. These are my dribble moves for my 6-1 build, as you guys can see right there. Um, you, a lot of you guys have been asking me for a dribble tutorial. I'm going to drop one soon. Don't worry about it. I just need to go really in-depth on how to do a lot of these moves. And I just haven't had the will to really get in the corner and actually do it. But I'm going to bring it very soon before the game is over. I'm probably going to do it next video. So don't worry about that. I got you. Okay, now I'm back on my 6-8. I know I've been jumping on every single build to show you guys. I know it's kind of confusing, but, you know, I'm trying to help everybody out in this video for small guards and tall guards. So for this, I only came on this build to show you guys my dribble moves on how I dribble so fast. These are the best moves for 6-8 uh, guard, 6-9 guard. As long as you guys are over 6-5, these are the best dribble moves for you. They're very, very fast and very cheesy to cook up with. It's, dude, these dribble moves, I cannot stress it enough on how good they are. I'm never going to change these dribble moves. I can't say that word, bro. Dribble moves. I'm never going to change them for the rest of the year. Like, these are the dribble moves. These are the dribble moves I'm going to be sticking with for the whole year. I can't say that damn word, bro. I don't know why. But, hey, man. I hope this video did help you guys out a lot. I appreciate all you boys for hitting that like and subscribe button if you guys did. And if you didn't, what are you doing, bro? Hit that like and subscribe button for me. I'm trying to help you guys out be better in 2K. So, that's the least you can do for me. I appreciate every single one of y'all for watching the whole video. I hope all y'all boys have a great day. And guess what? I'm out.